Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekend reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope everybody's doing well. This is going to be your love reading from May 26th through the 29th. And happy Memorial Weekend to everyone who celebrates here in the U.S. All right. So Virgo, if you want to get a personal reading, this link in the description box below. And I will be providing, if necessary, an extended reading to this video. So if I do do that, the link will be below this video in the description box as well. Okay, you guys, let's get started. You've had a, yesterday you had kind of a rough, a rough reading. So let's see, you've got girl talk, you've got karmic relationship, cassette and the runner. Okay, yesterday you had the chaser. Hmm. Okay, girl talk. So talking to some girls, talking to some friends, talking to other females, some energy like that going on, uh, having some time with friends, doesn't have to be girls, it can be, having some time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun over the weekend. So this is very positive energy for you. Um, there's also a karmic relationship, okay? So fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving yourself, okay? Um, Let's see. You also have cassette. I don't know if you guys have been following, you know, this, this card and what this generally means outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head and the runner. Okay. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay. So these elements are playing out one way or the other. <clears throat> I feel over the weekend, some of you might be connecting with some friends maybe for the holiday or over the weekend, um, maybe discussing a karmic relationship or something that you've been in or, um, you know, there could be some triggers over the weekend in regards to some friends or um, maybe something about moving on from a karmic relationship. Some of you might be uh, resentment, some lessons being learned. Okay. And just really like, I feel letting go of a karmic relationship and loving yourself at this time. Okay, um, but this runner thing, it feels like, this feels like your energy right now, Virgo, I feel like you're just trying to get away. You're getting away. If, if some of you are having some kind of struggle in some kind of relationship of some sort, or you're just on your own, maybe you're going to start running or jogging, part of your exercise program. Um, maybe you're going to run a marathon over the weekend. Um, for others, you're just like, you know... <laughs> I'm just trying to like some of you get out of a codependent relationship. Some of you might find yourselves um, somebody could be running after you as well. Could be the runner. You could have dealt with someone who was a runner. Um, the closer you got, the further away they ran. All right, let's get into the rest of this reading here. So what's going on? One of the energies playing out here for Virgo over the weekend. <clears throat> I mean, I'm definitely feeling this trying to be happily single and having fun living in the moment. I'm definitely picking up that energy here for you. Okay, let's take a look. Other messages for Virgo. Oh, wow. Girl talk and you've got the three of cups. Yeah. So listen, if you've got weekend plans, go for it. If you don't, make some. Okay. Get with some friends. This is a circle of support. Maybe it's family. Um, or just some work colleagues or some friends or something along those lines. I think I'm going to turn this light on. Yeah, that's better. So um, three of cups, circle of support, maybe some dating, talking with friends, hanging out with friends, spending some time with people, um, soul, your soul tribe for some of you, connecting with people, um, getting out of a karmic relationship. Um, some of you might be going somewhere where there's like that old school music playing or you, you know maybe you're with some friends or you go to a club and there's like this old school music from when you were younger <laughs> and just having a good time it feels like running from a karmic relationship loving yourself and spending time with friends during this weekend okay so you might get some kind of invitation to travel eight of cups um, take some kind of journey or a trip go somewhere all right look ten of swords Okay, some of you, wow, okay, surrendering, surrendering to the past. Some of you are going to be revisiting the past, revisiting some siblings, spending some time with some old friends, 
okay reconciling with some old friends this is really what i feel like is going on here for the weekend and this is very positive it feels like running away from not running away like uh, you know escaping but in a way yeah just trying to get some kind of karmic relationship off your mind for this time period and just shutting off your phone shutting down the computer you know going to a party going to a barbecue um doing something this weekend take an r and r kind of a thing for yourself this weekend and it's great it's really really great um reconnecting with past memories or past people um not lovers i'm not picking up lovers here i'm picking up that you are doing you do you bae that's what i that's what i feel like you're doing here you're doing yourself you're having fun with your friends right okay possibly a queen of wands very significant fire sign um aries leo sagittarius i'm feeling like a bff for some of you um reconnecting with an old friend or it's like a fire sign who's someone that you were friends with in the past this feels like a very friendly fun energy for this weekend um traveling going somewhere meeting up with some friends that have other kids or family members and just a really nice casual relaxing r and r kind of thing all right let's see what else is there anybody here is there anybody showing up for virgo what's going on here for this weekend okay so we've got temperance being well ba balanced let's see hmm okay um no one in particular okay on, on a romantic front no one in particular on a romantic front okay this weekend i'm just seeing you <laughs> maybe you're playing some games having a good time you're doing something if you're not doing something you might get an invitation to go do something or go to some kind of party or celebration of some sort or just a gathering that's what they're saying it's it's more like maybe just a gathering with friends and family or maybe neighbors you might be invited to join or do something or go out back and cook up some ribs with some neighbors or something relaxing and fun uh, it feels more of a um, communal kind of energy okay talking about work ideas um what it, it, i just see you being very well balanced um somebody's flipping burgers <laughs> sounds like a memorial day meeting right but it, it just feels like um a relaxing nice weekend okay um now i will say so some of you okay this is what they're telling me wherever you're going to be um you may get some communication from someone or you may somebody may say something to you at a place that you're going to be where they're like they mentioned someone that you knew <clears throat> and they say to you oh yeah i invited that person I'm, I'm just waiting to hear back if they're going to be coming i don't know what that means but i'm waiting to hear back somebody else says this to you i'm waiting to hear back they're they're apparently they're working but they're going to try to come or join in um after they're finished working okay it's very interesting i just heard that strange message okay i'm waiting for the news the good news the message to arrive this there i do feel like there is some kind of romantic attachment playing out here but it's very subtle okay it's very very subtle for you oh shit right when i said that here's the knight of cups okay <laughs> okay yeah oh my goodness um okay yeah there is gonna be uh, you might meet somebody while you're at some kind of um casual get together or gathering if you go if you don't go i guess not but it's up to you you're gonna have to like make a decision if you're gonna go or not you might meet someone there might be some kind of romantic proposal but they're not it could come from a fire sign but they're not really specific like being specific who this is coming from um <clears throat> you might be playing some games at this thing 
wherever you go or there might be like it could be like a, um i don't know like a festival for some of you you might meet somebody there or there's you know playing some games or maybe some kind of carnival or an outdoor event of some sort um there could be um part of a it could be a work party or um some kind of maybe like an institution or something like that or a, a family like a house party they're saying or something connected to a building of some sort where there's going to be some kind of um like fun and games but there's romance it feels like or there's admiration if it's not romance there's like admiration a sense of feeling loved and admired and um you could get asked out to go for a drink or you could sit at a table and, and you could meet somebody and start talking to somebody like a stranger or someone connected to some friends or people that you used to know. Wow. It, I mean, it's like, it's not heavy duty. This is not heavy. This is kind of flirtatious energy. It's not heavy duty. It's, it's just chit chat and somebody kind of has their eye on you or will have their eye on you. Um, or is interested in you but it's not it could ask you hey you know what are you doing next week and maybe go out and you know go do something with this person <clears throat> okay yeah go out and do some games or something here you go five wands I feel like though Virgo I, honestly I feel like you're wherever you, you're going <clears throat> sorry um I feel like you're going to be kind of, when this person shows up, like kind of interested in you or shows some kind of admiration or interest in you, I feel like you're going to be like frozen in time, you know, like, oh, I, I don't know, because <laughs> I, I feel like it might take you by surprise a little bit, but, um, or they, they ask you to be on their team to play some kind of game or do something, and you're like, oh, no, I can't do that. I don't know how to play that. I'm not any good. Um, I'll just make us lose. <laughs> I don't know it's so it's very like specific here but it, it feels like it's a lot of fun you know like I feel like you're gonna kind of come out of your shell and, and get a bit excited about this you know and um with that page of wands energy that kind of feels like oh, oh yeah let's do this yeah like you got like you're breaking out of your shell over the weekend if you're if you feel like you're you're in some kind of shell I feel like you're breaking out of your shell you're just you're just going, it's just like some R&R &R with some friends and um, doing some doing some kind of physical activity, but it's also casual, so it's not heavy duty, but it's fun, okay? Um, and like I said, you could get an invite. If you get an invite, go if, you, if you're up to it, you know, um, and, and that's what I'm, I'm speaking on if you decide to go or if you already know and you're attending. It seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it might be a circus. There could be like some jugglers or some street performers um, wherever you go or whatever you're doing or lots of kids running around having a good time and playing, um, playing games. They just said hacky sack and I don't know if kids play that anymore. Um, but just it, it feels like a gathering, like commun communal kind of thing. Maybe it's like a block party or something on your street or a street and something that like you attend where there's games and prizes and you know um, merchants and stuff like that. Look at this. Yeah, like merchants. People at a table selling goods, selling food. Um, it, it's just very festive. It just feels like it's very festive. Okay, there might be some fireworks as well here I'm feeling. Maybe there'll be fireworks, figuratively or literally. There could be fireworks with somebody you meet. Um, okay, dart. I'm feeling like dart kind of games. Sword. Um, people with swords. Maybe it's like one of those medieval Renaissance festivals or something. Excuse me. Um, solo uh solo games as well i feel like you're going to get an opportunity to show your skills this doesn't even feel like a love reading this feels mostly like virgo's getting away for the weekend and is going out and having fun and dancing and 
you know, uh, sipping some lemonade and iced tea and <laughs> just, you know, having some good food and laughing a lot and into, into the light, late night, going to see some fireworks and stuff. Okay. Oh, boy. Hmm. And then throughout the course, you're having a good time, and then you remember that karmic relationship. And then you think back to that karmic relationship here and how you felt left out of the cold by someone who wasn't committing, right? Um, this feels like an energy of like um, three steps back or three steps forward, one step back, right? Um, it's not going to really derail you if you are just trying to get your head out of uh, in, or get your head into a better place. I don't feel like it's really going to derail you, but I do feel like it's it's going to pop up right when you're in the middle of having a good time. And what are you going to do with that energy? You're going to block it and go back to your victories. Yeah. So it, this feels like a necessary medicine for you, Virgo. This feels like a necessary um, elixir that you need to have for yourself. Okay, just getting out there and having a good time and just forgetting about uh, anything or everything. Laughing, playing, being joyful. Okay, now let me just see what other messages. Okay, spying online. So you definitely have somebody here who's watching you. They get their eye on you. Okay, looking to see if you're going to post any pictures, if you're on social media. Um, or looking to, I just heard, um, that's creepy. <laughs> oh God. Uh, maybe this is like friends of friends or mutual friends looking to see what your friends are doing. See if there's anything about your activities I'm hearing. Okay. Yes. Good friends with your friends. Yep. You have someone that there's mutual friends, whether in real life or on, on the internet. Okay. Um, but I feel like there's somebody here is going to be looking at your friends. Even if it's not mutual, they've somehow find a way. They know who your people are and they find a way to see who your people are to see if they can catch a glimpse of you, which is very weird. Okay. Um, people that you're close to, maybe they find out you're going to be doing something or you're going away for this weekend. Yikes. That's that karmic future plans, choosing a path. Oh, somebody's looking to see if you're going to be gone for this weekend, if you're going anywhere, if you're doing anything. Okay. We have the moon card. Yeah, this person is kind of like, hmm, they're in the dark about something, about what you're doing. Who? Yep, and I just saw right here, fear and anxiety. So somebody here, this is the karmic, okay? You're trying to break away from this karmic energy, even if it's just in your mind. And this person feels it and they sense it and they're looking to see, um, trying to get a glimpse. Maybe they, they can see you, maybe they can't. Trying to get a glimpse or just get some information, um, seeking messages that you are indeed enjoying yourself and that you're, you know, not even thinking about them. Okay. It's causing great fear and anxiety, but you know, hey, what are you going to do? right? It's, it's not a healthy relationship. You're definitely looking for peace here, trying to be in a peaceful position, okay? Trying to get your balance and harmony over yourself, okay? Just you're, I see you just leaving things be and just allowing spirit to work in your life in whatever possible way. Um, I don't think we're going to need a, yeah, I don't think we're going to need an extended reading on this because this feels like for the weekend, you are just taking that trip or going wherever and just leaving everything in the past. You're leaving work. At, you're, you're not bringing your work home. You're not bringing this karmic relationship to wherever you're going, just going out and having a good time solo, solo, independent, single, having fun, um, meeting others, uh, someone from the past, maybe showing up or a friend of your a, a past friend of yours may want to introduce you to somebody or maybe it's a sibling or someone that you're connected to and that person might be showing up over the weekend you may or may not who it is know who it is okay you've got hold your vision right you're not get, that's why i said i don't see you going i don't see you being derailed from anything here holding your vision i see like you you will think back a little bit about the karmic person. Some of you might even have like, um, I don't know, a little bit of guilt because you're 
having a good time and I don't, I don't know where that's coming from picking up somebody's energy here um, but I'm not going to go into that the answers you need are coming okay uh, letting go always brings the answers um, I don't even feel I'm not feeling anger I'm not feeling uh, hesitation I'm not feeling any kind of energy where you're running to escape I just feel like you are doing something for yourself over this weekend and it's very positive for yourself bringing love into the situation okay so if you have moon in Aquarius or moon in Gemini these are your messages for sure bringing love into the situation getting yourself in a very positive energy full moon in Aries a fiery climax is approaching okay Fiery Climax is approaching. <clears throat> hmm. You know what? I want to get a clarifier on that. <clears throat> what is going on here? What is this Fiery Climax? Could be an Aries is approaching. We did have Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So let's see. What is this Fiery Climax? What's coming in here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Over this weekend... Oh, all right. So you've got the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's some enthusiasm. I feel like somebody might wind up developing a crush on you or uh, someone's interested in you, okay, um, while you're away or whatever you're doing with people. There'd be some communication. Um, somebody very physically attracted to you over this weekend, period. Okay, and we have the King of Swords. Okay, so it could be a fiery si fire sign, could be an Aries. Uh, it also could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius who's got their eye on you over this weekend or catches a glimpse of you and is like, oh, you know, <laughs> interested in you for sure. Oh, yeah, look here, Three of Cups again. So, what did I say? This is that's three times now at some kind of social event or something that you're doing. Okay, um, there's going to be somebody there showing up <coughs> who's going to, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, give you this, uh, <coughs> show some interest in you, okay? And I don't know that any of you, there might be some of you who are intentionally going out and socializing so you can meet somebody else or just to make yourself available. Others of you are just strictly going out to have fun and you have no intention. I mean, some of you aren't even shaving your legs. <laughs> You're just like, you know, it's gross. Go get in the bathroom, shave your legs, but go get the wax. But some of you are just like, you know what? I am not going to primp and preen. I'm just going to be clean and fresh and have fun. And that's my only goal. And, and you know what? Usually when you're not trying to attract anyone and you're just trying to be your most attractive for yourself that's usually when somebody shows up right so those of you who are, are putting on your tryhards you know um i mean somebody is going to show up here but i feel like a lot of you are just like no i'm going bowling this weekend no we're going to the lake no we're you know we're not going anything high fancy maybe some of you might be going to something you know but even still i feel like your the intention here is to just have a good time to just simply have a good time because you're trying to get away from just a toxic kind of a situation that's just been weighing you down okay so who's coming in we have the year of the goat okay um hold on year of the horse year of the tiger Year of the Rabbit. Okay, hold on. Year of the Monkey. Year of the Pig. Year of the Ox. And we had a horse. Did we? Yes, we did. And a year of the Snake. Okay, so that could be your sign. That could be some yours and somebody else's or both of yours. Or you may not, might not be any of you. That's fine. Don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's take a look at the Romance Angels. See what messages are coming in here for the weekend. As far as love. Straight up love. Love messages for a Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. It sounds like you're going to have a really good time, whatever you're doing. Even if it's just extremely casual. It just seems like you're just going to have a really great time. 
Okay, let go of control issues. Allow a situation to unfold naturally for the weekend. Okay, children. Okay, um, there's children involved in this weekend situation as well, and I think I was already saying that. Okay, there's going to be kids around. Uh, somebody might be coming in with kids or grandkids. You might have kids or grandkids um, or just there's other children other people might have children wherever you go or you meet people who have like there's just some kind of connection it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so this feels like if if there's going to be anybody showing up over the weekend this feels like it's going to be a safe you'll be in a public or there'll be other people around there's not going to be any heavy duty uh, trying to impress it's it's just very casual very natural lots of fun um, it, it'll feel like a safe kind of environment to talk because you're going to have people around you, you know, like, um, I don't know, like if, if you're talking to somebody, you're like, oh, I got to get away here. You, you've got other people there, you know, that you can just kind of mingle over in the other side of the, the place so that, you know, that kind of energy, like it's safe, right? It, and if you meet someone that you like, you're still in a safe place. Um, and I don't know who needs to hear that specifically, but... There might be something there with some of you where it's like, yeah, 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 I, I prefer that. I prefer being in public, meeting somebody, and um, where it doesn't feel like an interview or a date. It's just very casual, and there's no expectations, okay? No expectations. All right, let me see. Another message here for you. And I'm going to just do some charms, I think. Okay. Oh, you've got love. You got the love card. So this. Oh, so much love on this weekend here. True love, and fidelity. Okay. Beautiful energy for this whole entire weekend. Love, 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 love. Mm, look, you've got the stars. A long journey brings rewards. So if you're going somewhere, <clears throat> maybe you're going to go look at the stars on the um, Walk of Fame. Um, or maybe you're going to go watch fireworks with someone if there's fireworks wherever you're going or you just it's going to be one of those daytime events that turns into a nighttime event um, and it, lots of seeing underneath the stars that kind of energy or you might go to an event that says has the word star or stars in it or something like that I love this this reading is like so much fun it's not heavy duty it's just very casual all right let's get some charms to see what else and then I'm going to leave your reading for the weekend. Oh, we got a whole bunch. Okay, so we've got double hearts here. Very beautiful energy. Okay, let me do this. So you guys can kind of see them better. Okay, hopefully that's better. Yeah, so you've got two hearts. Two of hearts. Two hearts that beat as one. Yep, so there you go. Okay, you also have Gingerbread Man. <laughs> it's so cute, Gingerbread Man. This might be somebody that... Okay, that's strange. Um, oh, they're just saying somebody, will, somebody has red hair. You may meet somebody that has red hair. That's what that means. That's the message I'm getting from that. Um, okay, so... This kind of looks like a flower, but it also it looks like um, one of those Chinese weapons. I forget what they're called. Um, so you might see one of those over the week. I don't know if you're going to some kind of festival. I forget what those things are called. They have like five points, a five point, um, five point star. I guess it's like what the heck are those things called? They're ninja weapons or something. You might see that. You might see them. Maybe somebody will have them like on a table for sale or display. Um, that's really what that feels like to me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you have them or you know somebody who has them or you'll meet somebody that has them. You also have um, a dragonfly. So that's very beautiful. Um, this is definitely, you, if you spot a dragonfly over the weekend, and I'm not just see, saying like, like 
a real dragonfly somewhere near like in your garden or somewhere near you over the weekend that's a very strong message that if you're contemplating whether or not to go out and socialize or you're not sure um, and you see that dragonfly that's a message for you to definitely go do this because I feel like even with this butterfly here some of you might even see butterflies there's something profound about that something with wings lifting you up and off the ground it's a very spiritual messages here you also have a parrot on a perch okay um, or um, no that's is that a parrot or is that a maybe it's a parakeet somebody might have parakeet floors <laughs> if you get that joke please <laughs> holla <laughs> parquet it's not parakeet amber it's parquet um so <laughs> that anyways couldn't know what i'm talking about so yeah this is like um <clears throat> feels like a parrot so somebody you'll all right they're just saying you, you may meet somebody who's like mimicking you your actions or mimicking you over the weekend like on a personal level just know that if you sense somebody doing that it's a compliment uh, somebody's trying to give you a compliment like if you if you're talking to somebody you meet someone you tell them that you're into this particular thing you have this particular hobby or something that you like to do and they say me too um, like the, it's not that they don't but it's it's kind of a way to make the connection with you okay that's how you're gonna know that somebody that you could be talking to over this weekend or shows up or you're talking or you're mingling or socializing with is trying to make some kind of connection we also have a unicorn so Okay, this is somebody who's very unique. Um, you might have unicorns and butterflies and dragonflies. Uh, are you seeing them somewhere over this weekend? It's interesting because we have a lot of like nature type things, but there's definitely a love connection being made here with these two hearts. Definitely. So I'm so excited for you, Virgo. This looks like a great time. Um, and even if you don't meet anyone or nothing really comes about, focus on having fun. Focus on relaxation. Have a couple of drinks if you like to drink, you know, or whatever. Um, if you do the 420, relax. Just chill. Just, just be social. Laugh take it light take it easy you know no stress there is no this is like comfort zone city just totally enjoy yourself okay and i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope you have a great weekend virgo and i will see you all back here on sunday if you are a member of my channel for the um actually i'm strike that strike that from the record I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be here on Sunday now. I just realized um, because it is the holiday weekend. But if I do show up, um, just be here at 4 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Just check your phone. Just hit the uh, notification bell and you'll get a notification if when I go live, okay? Um, because I'll set it up ahead of time. So you'll make sure that you sure you'll get it. But I, I'm not going to I'm not going to give you a guarantee about that, okay? Um, Although I may go live Friday evening, tomorrow night, Friday evening, the 27th, to do a live Q&A for anyone that's interested in getting mini readings. Um, but again, I will post that and, let, and you'll, if you see it there, you know I'm going to be there. If not, it, we'll see how it goes because it's a holiday weekend here. A lot of people are, are going to be away. So have a great weekend. If I don't catch you over the weekend, I will see you back here Monday evening. All right. Love you guys. Bye.